just got my new graphics card for my little Dell and because it's low profile I had to order the low profile bracket well it came with the low profile brackets I'll show you how to put them on and install it. Anyways, these computers, right, everyone's saying, why try and do one of these computers up? Well, you get them real cheap. And they've got a power, max power supply of, oh, you can't see that, of 275 watt. And as you know, graphics cards, you want something fairly decent to play, even like Age of Empires or, you know, just watch a few movies or low basic games like running COD on uh, low uh, graphics anyway so I've chucked in 7 gig of RAM and the loss uh, I looked for a, uh, a graphics card at 300 watt and this is a 300 watt graphics card hopefully it should play if not it's going back on eBay <laughs> anyways first I need to remove the, the brackets and there's four screws here along this here there, just remove them with an actual uh, socket set, or you can just use a pair of pliers like I did. And there's one screw in the middle that you got to undo with a small screwdriver, smaller than that, a difficulty. Oh, you remove the bracket, get the, the low profile brackets. That's if you've got a low profile computer, you don't need to swap them over. And you have to put the two brackets on, and you screw it in together. And then, then hope for the best when you switch it on. That'll be next. Now, if you got one of these Dell computers, you got two slots. Now, one slot only, but it comes down to two slots on the ends that you can use. Uh, that one, and that one, and usually the brackets for these usually go here and here. So I had to. F this usually they don't come with a long cable like this one. So I went for this model in particular because it had a long cable. And it's just, just squeezed in into the secondary one. I was going to use just the HDMI on this. But because I can use the normal computer cable, because it just squeezes through, I'm going to continue that. Now there's a little blue tab here that you use to flip this open to get the tabs in here, in and out. So remember that, it's out, and then you can take them out. Now, fingers crossed to see if it works. Okay, well the little fan on that's working. Do we have picture? It looks like we have picture. What? Installed and working. Uh, you must install the driver, uh, the actual CD, because before it showed that I only had 40 megabytes of RAM. Now it's got uh, over a gig, so we're sweet. Okay, when you're playing Age of Empires, I played a full game, no issues whatsoever with this graphics card and with my amount of RAM. Uh, I went to options and went to graphics setup and I usually press reset to default. And with my original standard graphics card on this Dell computer, um, it went to very low, shadows off, everything. The graphics were terrible. Now. Instantly, as soon as when I put this graphics card and saw the driver and I redone reset to default, all the graphics automatically went to very high, extreme high, um, high, high shadow, high bit rate, high everything, and it doesn't freeze. And the quality is awesome. I mean, it's just, I mean, this is a very low quality game, but. And the detail that I'm getting now on Age of Empires is just awesome and the grass and ugh, great graphics. Good for an upgrade. I was looking for ages and nervous and just scratching my head. And I'm like, I'll buy this one and cross my fingers and it sure paid off.